Hi there, my name is Jay with CompuMatter. Uh, normally I have a green screen behind me, but it's being painted right now, long story, so you're getting what you get. Uh, the purpose of this video is for people that have Linux, that have iPhones, and they want to be able to synchronize or, or move the data from their phone to their Linux environment or to an external drive, I'm going to show you an effortless lay and <laughs> an effortless way to get that job done. Keep watching. All right, to start off with, we've got to get you to the terminal like what you see here. So for that, you'll click your start button, start menu, type in the word terminal, click that, and you'll come up with something that looks like this. And then we're going to have you install three packages. Uh, but oh, actually, first we're going to have you type in sudo space bash. That's going to make you a root user, giving you permission to install these packages just in case you don't already have it. Then type in apt install and these three packages right here. Now, this first one is going to allow you to see thumbnails in your folder environment in Linux uh, from the iPhone. This one is going to allow you to see these hyph images and uh, you know you're familiar with jpegs and pings and a lot of that kind of stuff but hypes are their own thing and uh, and sometimes linux will not support them out of the box that ensures they will um, and the next thing is grsync which provides a piece of software that allows you to synchronize from your phone to wherever you're going now we've already installed those this is just to give you an example of how it works so now with that done let's open the file manager in Linux. Okay, go ahead and plug in your iPhone and click trust on the iPhone itself when it tells you to, and then you'll see the iPhone on your folders like you do here. And that'll show you the folders on the phone itself, which of course you can drill down and see whatever's there. We've attached a USB or an external drive that we're gonna be our syncing our things to. I just wanted to show you that they are both there to start off and we'll open the program uh, grsync by just typing in rsy uh, and if we want to we can make that a favorite so it's always down at the bottom in the future. We'll open that. Okay and this is what that rsync interface looks like. We can make that a little bigger. Basically it's where you're coming from and where you're going to. Now you're coming from the, from the iPhone. So we're going to open. Normally you would navigate your directory structure. You would end up with iPhone. You click open. Um, where it's going to open. You pick your USB drive. You pick the directory um, within that USB drive that it's going to go to. And, and that's an important component actually. You have to create a directory within your USB drive. I found if you just use the USB drive natively without any directory within it, uh, like so, it's going to fail because of permission issues. If you create a directory, you are creating, you, you inherently get permissions to do anything you want with that directory because you created it as a user you're logged into. So moral of the story is, create some directory within the USB or external drive that you're going to put them in. In this case, I'm using this one called iPhone Backup. One other gotcha, and it will be a gotcha. Um, the default path for the iPhone is going to be something along these lines. You have to put a forward slash at the end of it, just like you see here. If you don't, it will fail. Uh, it'll, it'll have a permission problem on the iPhone itself, but with that there, it works fine. The other things, you can do what you want, skip newer, ignore existing, things of that nature. Um, there are advanced options in here. Uh, one you want to be careful of is this delete on destination, where it says delete extraneous files from the destination uh, directories which are not present in the source. You may have other files in that folder that you don't want to delete, and so be careful about that one. Now bear in mind, this is a synchronization program. It's not designed to delete the things on your source material. If you use this method, once it's done, and it'll let you know, it'll announce when it's done, you'll need to go into your iPhone 
and then manually delete whatever you want to delete. It may be everything uh, since it's already going to be synchronized, but bear that in mind. And then if we click the play button right here, it'll start the synchronization process and it provides some output along the way here. You can see there's a little indicator of the progress that it's making. And this shows you actual log files as things are happening. Okay, so that program synchronizes. And the nice thing about that is you know the stuff on your iPhone is safe, and then you can manually go back there and delete what you want to delete. If you want to be a little bit more uh, of a pioneer, a cowboy, what have you, you can open up the G-Thumb program that you just installed. That was one of the three programs. And I've already put that on my favorites. And you can browse on the left-hand side to your iPhone. See whatever, you can see the typical folders that you would see in an iPhone. Those are mine. And you can right-click on a folder and choose copy to or move to. In the case of move, it's going to delete it from the iPhone in the process of moving it. At that point, again, we can click uh, the Hawaii folder. We can qu click one of these other subfolders, click the button that says move, and it will move it. And in the process of moving it, delete it from the iPhone at the same time. This program also allows you to copy and paste. So if you wanted to copy it, you could then slide over to your USB drive. And within G-Thumb, the USB isn't uh, as obvious as indicated by an icon over here. You would click on the computer icon, your media folder where things are mounted by default, the user that you are, and then you'll see your USB mounted as a folder. And you can click the, uh, the folder within that. But if you wanted perhaps an easier way, just use your file system here. There you would see the USB and you could right click and choose paste and it will paste whatever you copied from the, um, the, the G-Thumb program. You know, a lot of people have Apple desktops, iMacs, minis, what have you, the, and they're being told no longer supported when they could in fact take that beautiful machine, install a, the very latest in today's world, 2024, uh, whatever it is in the future, install that latest version on their existing Apple computer or have us help you do that. And uh, when you're done, you've got a machine that works absolutely perfect. You can bank with it. You, you're more secure than you would be uh, in a typical Windows environment. And usually the only the stoppage is, how do I get my stuff off of my iPhone if I do this? Now you know. Thanks for watching. And uh, please click subscribe if you uh, want to be in the front row for future videos. Bye-bye.